How long does it take me to find a job live on camera? Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelance Verse. I hope you're doing well, thanks for being here once again. Today I have a very special video planned, or I say today, probably in the next weeks or even months. I'm not sure when you're watching this, because I set myself a challenge. I will not stop filming video clips, like short clips, throughout my process until I find an actual client. Now, finding clients is of course a big deal when you're a freelancer, right? And I always tell you guys like how to go about it, how to uh, try to promote being creative, etc. But I am also in the very lucky position that I'm not actively having to look for new clients, right? All the leads that I'm currently like following up on, if they are, if they are uh, relevant to me, are recommendations, are word of mouth, like by other people or people or, or companies that come to me. And um, of course, this is a much different approach because it's much easier because the interest is already there, right? So there's no point in like sharing all these old fashioned tips with you guys if I'm not actually doing it. So I set myself this challenge to actively find a client out there. Now, there have to be a couple of rules. Here are the rules. It doesn't make sense if I just start this challenge and immediately go to my recommendations, immediately go to people that reached out to me, because that's not the situation in which you guys out there find yourself in, right? Um, so uh, I set myself the rule to, to not use any leads to follow up on based on recommendation. Uh, of course, I can go out to my network and uh, reach out to people because that's something you can do as well. You can build a network and reach out. Uh, I can use all the platforms available, uh, but it just has to be actively engaged from my side. You know, it can't be that the company reached out to me or someone recommends it to me. And the challenge is achieved once I get an actual paid job by this client, right? Because sometimes you get included in, maybe you, you notice that too, sometimes you get included in a pool of translators, you sign some kind of NDA, so you think, oh, okay, everything goes great, a new client, and then you're in the pool and you never get a job, you never hear from them again, right? And you reach out and they say, oh, at the moment we don't have anything for you. I don't consider this a new client. Once I reach an actual job that will get paid, uh, this is when I will finish this video and that's when you will watch it. Today is the 10th of March 2022. Well, I hope 2022 is not relevant. I hope I find someone before next year. And uh, throughout the next weeks, days, months, I don't know, uh, I will just film clips and, and uh, take you guys along. I hope you enjoyed this video idea and I see where this takes me. Okay kind of a nightmare just happened. I mean nightmare, it's not that bad, but I just filmed the whole first day and I realized that my uh, screen recording didn't work, so I can do that all over again. But of course now it's going to be a bit different because I, I looked for jobs and I found them and uh, you guys don't know about this yet. So I'm just going to go through what I did in the first attempt and uh, show you how the what jobs I found and how I uh, applied to them. I said in this clip that uh, a lot of time has passed since the intro. I don't even know when I filmed it anymore, but it doesn't matter. I just didn't have time to get to it, uh, to this challenge, but it's fine. Today I have time. It's actually a Friday. So what I said, I want to start off this challenge with pros and with LinkedIn because these would be the two things that I would suggest you guys look for jobs as well in the beginning. Most likely you find agencies on there, which is perfectly fine. So I'm here on my pros.com. I hope this time you can see it. Yes, it is recording. Okay. Uh, what I did is I went on browse jobs here, uh, which is great because in pros it's already all set, right? My fields and my languages are set in my profile you can set them as well and then you see all the jobs that are relevant to you uh, it's really important to look for outsourcer rating here so a 5 is very good 4.8 is still okay but down here is a 3.2 i looked into this brand in the in the first attempt i'm not going to do it again but essentially yeah it's a, it's a red flag right uh, already when you see so many languages mt post editing very bad rating i would never go for that but just just the tips just so you know and then I came across uh, this one here, uh, Lingvo House, uh, five star rating, English, German, translator, regular cooperation. Uh, yeah, I don't need to open it again because I have it here. And this sounded very promising. We are looking for a qualified English, German translator, native speaker of German who can assist us with business, HR, marketing related projects. Uh, five years of experience. What I noticed is be really careful with what they are actually saying in the post, right? Because, for example, here, um, 
include English, German, translated, blah, 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 in the email subject. So these are really simple things that you have to do. If you miss them, that's already a very bad sign. So things like this are very important. Really answer all the questions they ask, right? And then when you look here, best regards, Sarah Lyons or Lyons, or I don't know. Uh, so you definitely need to address your email by dear Sarah, if you already have a name here, right? Don't just say dear team, to whom it may concern. Dear uh, Lingvo House team, no. If you have a name, say Dear Sarah. It's very personal and very nice. Uh, so that's the first one that I applied to. The second one I found was here actually. That was really surprising. It this seems to be a direct client, Sal Digital. I opened up their website here. It's like a photo product, uh, a photo printing service. Uh, Sal, Sal Digital Photo Service, and here they actually restricted to paying members, and they are looking for. German for Switzerland, so it's really perfect for me. I'm very happy I found this. They posted this this morning. Uh, they are looking for linguists to translate or proof it marketing related text from English into their native German variant German for Switzerland with new natural, native, localized and compelling copy. Uh, we are not a translation agency, but we have a small dedicated department in our company which specializes in photographic printing and photo products. Amazing, huh? They're looking for someone for a long-term uh, collaboration, one to two hours per day. I don't know how I would fit this in to my day at the moment, but uh, that's besides the point. If this really comes to it, I will of course make time for it. Uh, they ask for a PDF CV, they ask for uh, individuals, not agencies. So very much uh, perfect for me. So I also applied to them, i show you in a second how. And then I also went on LinkedIn uh, I typed in a few keywords, for example, what I eventually found, I, I, I typed in Swiss German, uh, I went on posts and I went on date posted this week or past week and I found a very interesting post here, uh, Ruth, CLC, uh, we are currently looking for experienced German Swiss editors to join our pool of linguists. Linguists should have experience working with marketing content, German Switzerland editor. So. Very nice posting. So I have these three things, things plus another one that I found uh, on LinkedIn in, in another post that I, uh, an Italian translation agency, I can't find it at the moment anymore, but I also applied there. I'm gonna blur all the sensitive information, but this is the one that I sent to Sal. There the woman was called Sandra. So I wrote her, dear Sandra, for sure, uh, uh, address her personally, came across your job. I'm a Swiss German translator with this experience specialization. I said I have a unique perspective on the Swiss German speaking market and I would be a good addition to your team of translators. Uh, a little bit about the company. I think it shows a very promising and forward-thinking approach to localization. Then I mentioned my rates. Uh, my uh, they, they, they want to work with Memsource. So I said I have been uh, working with Memsource for other clients. I'm familiar with it. My preferred tool is MemoQ, but that's besides the point. And I included my LinkedIn pros and my YouTube with uh, hyperlinks in the signature. And of course, I added my CV. I did that for all these three things that I mentioned, except for the LinkedIn one, Ruth. I contacted her directly on LinkedIn and just sent her a quick message very informally. Uh, I've seen your post, I would be very much interested. At the moment, I don't have capacity, but if we could talk next week. And she said, yes, please give me your email address. So uh, we will be talking on Monday. So this is it for day one. I think it has been very good progress. I'm very happy with that. And I will, I'm now excited for the challenge. I'm happy I started today because once I start, I can keep this going, of course, because emails will come back and forth, etc. But just starting was a bit hard. It took me like a month or so, but anyways. I think this will be an interesting video. If I get some interaction from these, I will of course update you. I think they will want tests, especially the direct client will want a test for sure. Um, yeah, I keep you posted. For now, I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. <laughs> see you then, bye bye. Okay, I hope you can see me like this. Uh, so it is day two, are we recording? Yes. So it's uh, basically a new week, it's Monday now and uh, some really interesting news happened. <laughs> Let me show you. You remember from the first clip that I applied to this uh, direct client, Sal Digital, and they sent me a, a, an answer. Let me just take the images here as well. Uh, hello, thank you for sending us your proposal. We accept your per word rates for translation and proofreading. 
that's always a bit of a weird thing because when they just accept your rates you think like oh I could probably have asked for more and I did already ask quite a lot here because it is a direct client right so I'm, I'm amazed that they actually responded and it really sounds like we assume you are familiar with issuing invoices I am they have their uh, repetitions rate so it's kind of an they are a direct client but they have a language a translation department so they are very aware of it and it feels like an agency communicating uh, but the rates are definitely direct client rates. And uh, in order to onboard you as a proofreader or translator, we would like kindly ask you to complete the following test. Please note that the texts are used for assessment purposes only. So they want me to do a review of two texts in my target language, and they want me to localize a text in my target language. We would like you to complete the test as soon as possible in 24 to 48 hours maximum. I can't do it today, but I will definitely do it tomorrow morning. I will check how big the, the jobs are. I hope they are not like hours long because then I won't do it because it looks like they're for free. Uh, but that's uh, an amazing sign, right? And if I really get this direct line through this video, that would set a weird example because that's not usually how it works. But you know, it, it can happen, right? And this is definitely all for real, just to let you know if there are people thinking that this is fake, it's not fake for sure. Uh, I haven't heard back from anyone else, but I have talked with, with uh, what was her name, Rita, I think, the one that I found on LinkedIn, and she told me to send her an email. So I'm gonna send her the exact same email that I uh, sent out yesterday, just a bit like, adapted to her, so it's not the exact same email, uh, but I will send it out to her and then we have three pending applications as of today. Just a very quick check-in today, it is day three, I don't have a lot of time, it's a bit of a weird day for me, I started very early in the morning uh, because I want to finish by two because a friend of mine is visiting Brussels, so I want to go out with him in the afternoon. Uh, just to update you what I'm doing today, uh, on the challenge, I will now do the, the test from the potential direct client. I will do this now in the next two hours or so. And then uh, after that, I will send out a bunch of messages to, as you can see here, I, I'm on Twitter. I typed in sportswear brand because this is uh, the specialization that I want to deepen in and I want to uh, find more clients in. So I found here a bunch of, of uh, Twitter accounts that have sportswear brand in their uh, profile. I will send all of them a quick message, maybe I will send one message probably for all of them because I, I, for at this stage it doesn't make much sense to do a lot of research yet. So here I will do kind of a bulk uh, messaging uh, approach. Maybe I send 50 messages out and see if anyone can guide me either into a direction uh, where they already work with German translators or maybe they don't yet and then uh, hopefully I find a new connection through this. That's what I'm doing today. Check in with you again tomorrow. I actually got a reply. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you today, but I'll show you tomorrow another reply that I just got. Uh, but I need to do some research first on that. And uh, yeah, then we continue. See you then. All right, the test is done. It was quite interesting. I had to do two review tasks and one translation tasks. And the two review tasks were quite good i didn't have to change a lot uh, just some uh, statistic changes and apply um, change it a bit for for uh, switzerland and the translation job of course i did my necessary research right and i i came across the text online so or most of the text let's say 80 percent and this is an approved text that's that's live so of course i take on this this uh, text right and use it in my test so i don't know if this was kind of a trick to to test my research ability but anyways this is done it didn't take me long only about an hour uh, the the messages are sent out that i mentioned before i'm just gonna finish my working day it is 1 30 now i have one more hour and then i'm gone i check in with you tomorrow with another update hello i'm back just a quick update i haven't been able to film in the last day so uh, it is now the next week uh, after you've watched it. it is now tuesday the next week and just a quick update on what's been happening so as you know i sent out uh, tw twitter dms to about 40 companies and i got four responses from these uh, two said they don't need anything at the moment one uh, gave me his email address and told me to contact him and uh, so he can actually register my my data in his in his um, pool so whenever he needs something he will reach out and one gave me a contact of the communications department that deals with translation 
So out of this, uh, let's say like 20 minute activity to send out these 40 DMs, I got two contacts out of it. So I think, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It paid off. Uh, another update on the test that I did. Let me show you uh, from Sal Digital. They wrote, uh, thank you for, uh, for your efforts. I confirmed this, the receipt of the test file. We will review the file and complete the assessment process from now on. If we progress your application to the next stage, you can get some additional paid proofreading tasks or be directly onboarded to our translation tool. So curious where this is going. This is probably the most promising at the moment. Um, yes, I also sent other emails out, but I haven't heard back from them. And I also saw on LinkedIn a post um, this one, uh, the GTU translation agency. Uh, Wade Günther is the owner and they are looking for freelance translators for German subtitling, five years experience, creative marketing copy, fashion, uh, apparel, music, lifestyle. Um, they are in Madrid. So yeah, this seems all very cool. And I will, they say about your experience, this is very relative. We encourage you to send your application even uh, though you just graduated from university. So basically anyone can can uh, apply and then a short translation test will be necessary in the onboarding process. So this will be the next one I do. It's an easy apply on LinkedIn, so I will go through the process. Uh, oh, they have a subs subsidiary in Berlin, so it would probably go through them. All right, this is it for now. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, so stay tuned for part two next week. And uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel. See you then. Bye bye.